Hi everyone! In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to have a successful school year by implementing and using evidence-based psychological concepts and findings. So if you're curious to know what these are, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let us begin. In the book, The New Psychology of Success, Dr. Carol Dweck describes two different types of mindsets and their effects on students. In a fixed mindset, students believe their basic abilities, their intelligence, and their talents are just fixed traits. They have a certain amount and that's that. And their goal becomes to look smart all the time and never look dumb. In a growth mindset, students understand that their talents and abilities can be developed through effort, good teaching, and persistence. They don't necessarily think that everyone's the same or anyone can be Einstein, but they believe everyone can get smarter if they work at it. It is therefore essential that the first step in having not only a successful school year, but also a successful career and life to develop this growth mindset. Because it makes you flexible, malleable, adaptable, and therefore invincible. I will have a link to the entire book in the description box, but according to Dr. Dweck, something as simple as just being aware of these two mindsets can have a tremendous impact. The title speaks for itself. If you don't know where you're going, how can you get there? Research has uncovered many key aspects of goal setting theory and its link to success. Setting goals is actually linked with self-confidence, motivation, and autonomy. I can seriously attest to this because every single semester or year that I set a goal for myself, I achieve them 100% of the time. On a side note, it is extra helpful when you write your goals down. Oh, and another thing, remember that whole study bubble flow state thing that helps you be focused and attentive for long periods of time while you are doing actual deep work? Yeah, goal setting is also associated with creating the optimal condition for the flow state because it is in fact one of the eight elements of flow. If you want to know more, I already covered this whole shebang in its own video. Self-efficacy is defined as the belief we have in our abilities, specifically our abilities to meet the challenges ahead and complete a task successfully. People with high efficacy are more likely to set challenging goals and commit to them. Individuals who sustain belief in their abilities under the pressure of challenging goals tend to maintain or even increase their subsequent goals, thereby making improvements to ensuing performances. Conversely, individuals who lack this confidence have a tendency to lower their goals, making them easier to achieve and decrease their future efforts. A great way to improve your self-efficacy is to take big goals and dissect them into smaller, more manageable tasks and keeping track of these so-called quick wins. As you progress, you slowly increase their difficulty one by one, item by item. Taking on more and more challenging things increases your belief in your ability and therefore increases your self-efficacy. And lastly, self-efficacy helps build a sense of empowerment, which then leads to developing a strong internal locus of control. The locus of control refers to where you believe the power to alter your life events resides, within you, so internal locus of control, or ILC for short, or outside of you, external locus of control. 
If you immediately have thoughts like, I only failed because the teacher graded unfairly, I couldn't do anything to improve my score, or she left me because she's cold-hearted and difficult to live with, and I'm not, you likely have an external locus of control. That means that you do not have a solid sense of belief in your own abilities. An easy trick you can use to practice shifting your locus of control from external to internal is to frequently ask yourself, what can I do about it? For example, if you start thinking that I failed the course because the teacher hates me, this is a government conspiracy, let's all storm Area 51, catch yourself and rephrase it like, okay, I failed an exam, what can I do about it? If you need a little more convincing, listen to this. Research has found that folks with an internal locus of control are less vulnerable to depression, do better in school, deal better with stress, more actively find solutions to problems, are more satisfied with their jobs, and also are more oriented towards achieving their goals. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I will really appreciate it. And subscribe to me if you like what you see because I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. Bye, guys.